fight is a middleweight, about up to 85 kilograms, and we are inviting to the blue corner a fighter from Moldova, Jon Kirillov. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the red corner, invited to the cage is a fighter from Moldova, Denis Kvasnitsky! All right, let's meet the fighters in the blue corner at the age of 23 years with a height of 1 meter 85 centimeters and a weight of 85 kilograms with a record of three fights, one win, one draw and one loss representing Thai Boxing Club from Moldova. Yon Kirilla! In the red corner, at the age of 21 years, with a height of 1 meter 90 centimeters and a weight of 85 kilograms, with the same three fights in the record, but all three being wins, representing Team B1 from Moldova, Denis Kvasnitsky. This is a middleweight bout, up to 85 kilograms, three rounds, three minutes each, extra one round K1 rules. Referee Mihai Nani. Okay, gentlemen, listen to my Remember, commands. folks, Let's have a clean as you just fight. heard, we are no switching back no to Shake kickboxing rules. Back to three rounds yes. of three minutes here in the middleweight division. Judge, 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 time, fight. And we are underway. Both men, the last time they were in the FIA championship well, cage, were successful. And this is what I love about FIA Championship is winners are rewarded. So you, as long as you keep winning, you will keep being rewarded. You'll keep moving up the ladder and get closer to that championship opportunity. There's a foot right upside the face. Ooh, big left hand there by... Fashnitsky goes in. Back and forth with kicks now. Well, Kirliov really let him have it there, and that one was dangerously close to a low blow. Wow, a couple of left hands there by Krasnitsky. Good movement from him. Well, these two playing a dangerous game here. Look at these two just almost standing right in front of each other and engaging in some heavy combat. Kicks back and forth. Body kicks by both gentlemen. Take a look at the left side of the body there underneath the elbow. Oh, Kvachnitsky just tattooed red there by Kirillov. Body kick goes in again by Kvachnitsky. Ten second hammer drops now.
Oh, wait a minute now. Did you see that right at the end of the round? It looked like uh, Kirillov may have kicked him as he was going down. Very hard hitting round here between these two. And uh, I just got a funny feeling that this one's gonna come down to whoever's tougher. That's that. <laughs> as much of a blanket statement as that is, I mean, let's face it. These two are just going at it, man, toe to toe. It's gonna come. Goodness gracious, what? Seconds out, fighters. I don't have a clue what I was just talking about a minute ago. Ah, oh, yes. Time. So, whoever's tougher. <laughs> God, I love Moldova. And so, whoever can dish out the most punishment, and also, perhaps even more importantly, who can take the most. Your love for a shots upstairs now. Rosniewski trying to give it back. Body kick goes in. A lot of the emphasis on this uh, event is not on the middleweight division, but I really do love this uh, weight class. Oh boy, and again, as he's going down, almost kicked there. Oh, oh my goodness. Business really picking up here between these two. Left hand around the corner there by Kirillov. Oh, and another one went in. Spins him around and Feshnitsky gives it to him a couple of times. Fifty seconds remaining here in round number two. Very, very close fight here so far. This is good matchmaking here. Two winners in their previous fights. Whoa! Both guys with similar age, similar statistics, just a slight height advantage here. But uh, very, very even matchup so far. Whoa! Pachnitsky, though, maybe a step ahead here towards the end of round two. It's that glove up there. And that'll do it for round number two. Fighters. Stop. 
Seconds out. Time. Fight. Round three. Boy, these two are going to go right back at it here. Just to kind of, if nothing here really changes between these two in round three, I thought I did start to detect Kashnitsky gaining a slight advantage towards the end of uh, round number two, but things keep going this way. It's going to be a very hard uh, decision for the judges, and potentially because we've seen so many uh, extra rounds here tonight that we may end up seeing one more, but let's find out here in round three. This is the chance that these guys need to really prove to the judges. Now wait just a minute. Kirillov kind of slipped into his opponent there. Well, I like the hand speed there of Krasnitsky. The devil is in the details in this fight. The small little thing going. Krasnitsky again looks like he's disrupted the balance in the equilibrium, perhaps, of Kirillov. Oh, and he definitely did. Definitely did now. Whoa, my! Krasnitsky now is taking this thing. This is the kind of separation that we needed to have a clear victor, ladies and gentlemen. Kirilov is, is rattled here a little bit. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's feeling those blows big time. Oh, look at that. Snapping the head back now. Kirilov's in trouble. As I said, you can't just have fights like this without paying for it one way or another. And Krasnitsky is making him pay. Oh boy. Got about 20 seconds left here. Can he put the cherry on top? Final seconds now. Oh boy. And that put a little smile on his face. Well, he won't get the knockout. Vashinsky definitely wins round three, but how were the judges scoring the first two rounds? Unanimous decision of the judges is winner being Red Corner, Denis Kvart.